a very good recipe for BP. Okay, it's going to be a strong one. I'm a natural person. Okay, yeah, I love herbs. I love nature. I love using things around me to do a lot of things, both food, both for internal healing, and then the skin and the hair. Okay, so that's what we basically do in this channel. And I'm going to be showing you how to use these foods around you to help your health. <music> hello everyone welcome back to my channel okay so this is nature secrets with sally yeah welcome back so today i'm going to be sharing with us a very good recipe for bp okay it's going to be a strong one and i'm going to be using a, a regular um, herb that we know our zobo or the hibiscus flower leaf which is popular, generally called the zobo leaf in nigeria okay so i'm going to be making use of that today but i'm going to show you a strong way to infuse your tea or to make your tea normally we make a zobo drink by boiling and boiling and boiling okay but in this case now you're going to be using it for medicine okay because i'm focusing on those with with high blood pressure now the reason why um i think i've done a video or two on high blood pressure and i'm doing another one again because it's a silent killer and people are just going bp issue bp issue Meanwhile, there are things around you you can use to help yourself okay if you're having bp issue to help putting it under control aside your medicine okay some of us are already on the medications i'm not saying you should stop your medication because you don't stop immediately but you can be using these foods to cushion the effects to help to reduce then gradually you withdraw from your medicine okay so um this is what i use currently for for my mom and so i'm sharing it with us to help us but the normal way of boiling can remove the nutrient but the way i'm going to show you today the 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 um, simple remedy i'm going to show you today is going to help with that all the nutrients stays intact the main compounds that are going to help your bp will stay intact you don't need to kill them off because too much heat kills that's um, the the nutrients in it okay so i'm going to be showing you an infusion method that will help you to retain all the nutrients you need in your tea okay you can also apply it in any other herb your scent leaf tea whatever tea you want to make with herbs or um, your foods around okay you can also apply that to keep the nutrients intact okay so i'm going to give you the rules of it i'm going to give you show you how to do it and i'm going to give you the rules of it it's going to help you i'm not going to put a lot of recipe like when we're, when we're making our zobo we add a lot of things the clove the I'm, I'm going to keep it as simple as possible that you can still use it and you get the health benefit of it to reduce your bp okay so follow me through and if you haven't subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button because i bring you wonderful videos like this okay you don't want to miss out click on the subscribe button so that you get more of this oh, and turn on the notification bell so that when next i release a new video you will be able to see my video okay so let's go straight into our video so these are my ingredients i'm going to be using and i'm using four simple ingredients that you can easily get around you okay so the first thing is my zobo leaf which is a hibiscus flower leaf then i have my garlic over there okay some few cloves of garlic now i have my beetroot yeah i'm just using half of it and the other one up there like a grass is what we call sorghum by color okay it's from the guinea corn leaf it's is normally sold among zobo things in the market people use it to make zobo okay yeah some people call it manpower sometimes we go to the market as them of manpower because it's also good for men yeah it's also uh, good for blood boosts it boosts the blood it helps bp it helps diabetes okay so it's a very good uh, herb to use okay is the leaf of guinea corn yeah the normal guinea corn we have in the market is from the leaf okay you can add cinnamon sticks to this if you have all the powder okay it's very powerful to cayenne pepper is another good add but i just want to keep it simple 
So there are so many herbs and so many things that can help reduce your BP. But I just want to stick to your foods in this recipe, okay? Those things you take as food, as drinks. Many persons use this sorghum by color in their zobo. The Ghanaians use it to cook rice and beans, okay? To add color to their rice and beans. You can get it around, you can take it out, okay? Maybe increase your, your beetroot or your hibiscus. Then add cinnamon for more effectiveness. So next we're going to be preparing them. I'm going to be grating my beetroot, okay, so that it can extract more of its contents. I've talked about beetroot in my other video. I'll put a link for you to go and watch. It's a very important ingredient when it comes to BP, okay? You can still chew more beetroot or make juice out of it if you want a faster or immediate result, okay? So next I'll be crushing my garlic, okay? I have another video on how to get effective results on garlic, okay? This one now, I'm going to crush it and leave it to sit for 10 minutes before I use it, okay? You can go and watch that video. I'll put the link up there so that you get the full benefit of garlic, okay? Garlic is one strong remedy for BP that many of us commonize, okay? And if you're not getting a good result out of your garlic, it's because of the way you prepare it. So watch that video and then so that you know how to use your garlic the right way to get its full benefit, okay? So it's time to make a uh, infused tea, okay? I have to cut off some of the preparation like washing of my zobo and the other so gone by color okay i washed it so you can do that all you need now is a container a glass jar like this like a bama bottle you can get a good glass jar okay so any one with the cover that you can cover tight okay so that's the major thing you need now i'm going to be adding my ingredients into the glass jar So my ingredients my, are all inside the container. Lest I forget, you're making this recipe in the night against the next morning, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do your tea against the next morning. Now, you're going to be pouring a very hot water inside this container. And make sure that the, the platform you're keeping it on is a wooden table, okay? Get a wooden, a wood table or decks to place it on top so that it doesn't break okay that's a secret if not if you pour the hot water inside here it's going to break because it's a glass unless it's a very strong glass that won't break okay then the next we're also going to be putting a spoon or can be knife or any stainless steel okay so it's so that to cushion the effect of the breakage so the first rule is to place it on a wooden table or any wood then the second one is to place a spoon inside it remember that rule so that you don't break the bottle because we're going to be pouring hot water in it okay so now i'm pouring my hot water in i've already boiled my water for the tea i don't need to set it on fire with this to extract everything out now there are some herbs that you don't need hot water okay there are some kind of herbs that you you need you don't need very very hot water in that case you don't really need to use very hot water you can use a warm water but for things like this that you you can still use the hot water you can use this to make your tea or other herbs use it to make your tea so i'm pushing it in with my spoon to make sure that they all sit inside we're still going to give it a shake okay after covering it
So all we have to do is to cover it up after pouring the hot water in it cover it up lock it tight make sure you're locking it tight and allow it to sit overnight okay so you can use it for any herbal tea you want to make make it a night before by the next morning you will see the color of the herb will change it will extract a lot for you so it will be very strong and powerful yeah and your in ingredients are all intact without the boiling and killing of the nutrients so this is a secret remedy to make your teas and you get all your ingredients in if you're even making a tea like your scent leaf tea or any leafy green tea you see the greenish color you see how thick and dark your color will be the next morning okay so give this a trial and thank me later you get an effective result so if you have bp go and try this remedy and thank me later okay keep using it over time your bp will be taking shape and be regulated okay so just keep using it then that doesn't stop you from taking your you can still do your beetroot juice you can do other it's your potassium rich food make sure you're taking more of potassium reduce your sodium do your exercises to help you out take a full glass of it morning and evening okay best taking first thing in the morning on empty stomach okay so you give like one hour at least 30 minutes before you take your meal at night you can still pour more hot water to see to the next day you see that it will still extract more out of it so you can use it for do it for like two days then you can change and add more fresh ingredients okay to make it more active so in the morning it will be cold by then you can place it in a bowl of hot water to warm it up okay and then you take your tea at this stage before drinking you can decide to add a lemon juice to it if you want maybe like half a lemon okay it's also good for bp all right so that's how to make a strong infused tea with any herb and then enjoy your drink okay Thank you very much. Stay tuned to the end. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell, okay, to get beautiful videos like this. And we'll be talking of other health areas which you can assist yourself. I'm a natural person, okay. Yeah, I love herbs. I love nature. I love using things around me to do a lot of things. But food both for internal healing and then the skin and the hair okay so that's what we basically do in this channel and i'm going to be showing you how to use these foods around you to help your health for your general well-being and also to treat some sickness even in the body okay thank you so much i'll see you in my next video